so well they told me that we didn't have a quorum with us. Yeah, we were rushing around taking John Cover. Okay. Oh Mr. Cox, how are you? Doing good. <laughs> I'm doing Thanks great right now. To rubber stamp. And I'll return it. <laughs> What a good look at this. I think the travel time is going to be longer than the meeting time, though. <laughs> the good note me, she was telling me this is one of our last meetings. Oh, okay. Okay. Good morning. Welcome to the September 25th Tulare County Redevelopment Successor Agency Oversight Board, commit, board Meeting. Is there anybody here wishing to speak during public comment period? I'm looking behind you and don't see anybody. I can tell you folks, last week I had Visalia's oversight board meeting and it literally took longer to drive there and drive back than the meeting took because as we're winding down, you'll, you'll see things are going quickly. So our first action item today is approve the minutes for February 27th. Are there any corrections? If there's no corrections, I mean, they entertain a motion to approve those minutes. So moved. I second it. Moved and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Carries unanimous. Our one action, our second action item, which is the biggest action item, is to approve the uh, recognized ops for June or for January through uh, June of 2016. You have that attached as a spreadsheet. Staff, would you like to make a presentation? Uh, I'll do a really quick one. Um, just a couple of things. Nothing's changed on our ROPS. We still have our long-term debt, which the Department of Finance won't <coughs> let us. Oh, I'm sorry. Won't let us um, pay off yet. Um, so that's going to stay on there until that's all completed. And then, really, it's only staff time, and we still have one of the properties left in. Um, redevelopment aim that we're working with um, Robert Newby and Newby and property management to get rid of so um, it's a Pixley property and that's the last remaining property in the redevelopment name so once that's done and over with and, and will that property be sold through a real estate agency yes exactly and then we also have to get um, Department of Finance's permission before we actually even go through that step so we have to assemble everything pitch it to DOF and then DOF will say yes you have our permission and then I come back to the oversight board and let you guys know. Um, on the ROP schedule here we have obligations of $156,270. Um, as a reminder we do not actually receive any tax increment because we have a cash balance available and per Department of Finance instructions we're drawing down on that cash balance available. Um, the cash balance at the moment is roughly $1.5 million. So, does anybody have any questions on specifics or anything? No questions. Would entertain a motion then to approve the ROPS for January through June of 2016. So moved. I've moved and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Carries unanimous. Next item is discussion items, requests for future agenda items. I do have, I don't know if you're prepared for this. I should have called you beforehand. Um, as folks know, this board is going to be wrapping up soon. Yes. And my question is who at that point when we combine all of the county redevelopment agencies into one board who takes the lead my understanding is the Aud auditor controller's office of that county is supposed to take the lead on that um, we've been notified by the department of finance that we are still required to submit a biannual rops so based on the information we've received we still need to prepare for our rops for the next period so I asked Michelle to schedule a meeting for February. Yeah, so we can meet to approve that. Yeah. Uh, we're all hoping that. 
and we're hoping that would be the last meeting and then I could have the Pixley property taken care of at that time too. And then they're all supposed to combine, as you had mentioned, and then go toward um, the county auditor controller's office is supposed to. So since we already took the action, what, maybe over a year ago to dispose of that property, there's no need to come back to us. The property, our property people will work with the DOF to get that approved, sell it, the money will go back to them, I'm going to assume, and then we're done with that. The, um, I want to say yes because that's logical, that's true, but what sometime, what happened with the last property is the Department of Finance made us come back to your, come back to you guys even though um, you guys had already approved it before, this board had already approved it. So I'm thinking they're going to make us the same thing because it's been such a long period of time. Um, so I do expect me to have to bring that item back just for that specific reason. Okay. Any other questions, comments, requests for, I guess, our final meeting of February 19th, 2016? Yeah, that's when the new the new committee and everything is supposed to be formed and come together. So that's why I'm believing we have to do another ROPS and that's per Department of Finance. Okay. <clears throat> if, uh, if we could come back with a clear, just a agenda item, then explaining how that process works. If it pull, I don't know if I haven't le even looked, I don't know if it pulls one board member from every one of the the oversight boards and puts it into the, the new oversight board or not, but. I have a statute of competency right here. Yeah, let, let's hear it because we're, uh, the gavel is, is getting close. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. So that ex that could exclude most, well, some of us here from having to sit on that. Any other questions? Seeing none, we will adjourn this meeting until February 19th, 2016 at 10 a.m. here in these chambers. I hope the travel time was longer than that. Can I see you next year? Okay. And that's the only one, Michelle. I thought there was resolution or two or something like that.